wasting money here. Today we're going to be opening up a Dragon Ball SH Figures figure from today's sponsor, which is Mecha Japan. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. Um, they're actually sponsoring a giveaway for everyone, and this will be an international giveaway as well. So anyone can enter. But yeah, let's open this up. You know, again, make sure to stay tuned for that. But let's see what figure we have here. So I did a top 10 list uh, not too long ago. This wasn't in the top 10 figures that I wanted most, but it was in an honorable mention. So let me know, drum roll please, but <laughs> we got the metal cooler. Very cool. Cool. But I mean, look at that figure. It just looks amazing. So on the box here, you know, you get all the stuff on the side. Have the awesome poses there. Got the super modeling, which we all know and love. But yeah, and then on the side just says metal cooler. So really cool looking figure, <laughs> but let's open this guy up. And while we get him out again, you know, want to thank today's sponsor, Mecha Japan. Mecha Japan is an online store that sells products from major Japanese licenses, such as Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and of course, Dragon Ball. So I want to just look and see what fig arts they have at the moment. But as you can see, I mean, they don't only sell sh fig yards i mean this is the main reason i like to buy stuff from them but the reason i like to use metro japan is because they'll ship to pretty much any country the shipping isn't too expensive as well and it's pretty quick depending on the product you get so of course if you do a pre-order which they do have the dragon ball daima figures for pre-order now those are pretty cool and also i saw that they still had the wolverine and deadpool which a lot of you know other websites kind of ran out of those uh, pre-orders already so you know metro japan has those on hand as well as this from my hero academia you know so thank you again metro japan i wanted to just see what dragon ball fig arts they have make sure i mean it is kind of case sensitive so make sure there's a space between dragon and ball but we'll be doing a giveaway for this guy sponsored by Mecha Japan. So it's the Vegeta Super Saiyan God Unwavering Saiyan Pride Dragon Ball SH Fig Yards. Awesome looking figure and you know Mecha Japan will be sponsoring this giveaway. But make sure you stay tuned till the end so that you hear how to enter this giveaway. And um, like last time we will have a code so it'll be $5 USD off any order over $80 USD. The code is MONEY5, all spelled out. I'll have that in the description and pinned comment as well. So make sure you don't miss out on that. Um, definitely, you know, good opportunity. But let's get back to the review here. Well, yeah, so thank you again, Mecha Japan, for sponsoring today's video and sending this figure over. And again, make sure you stay tuned till the end so that you know how to enter the giveaway that will be sponsored by them as well. But let's just kind of look at this guy right here. We'll take the plastic off. I mean, the box is really cool. It's got all the metal stuff there. I'll just get that out of the way. Before we open him up, let's just kind of look and see what all he has here. So um, he comes with a kind of just, you know, normal looking face there. Um, he has a kind of yelling face and then grunting face and then a smirk, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so we have it here. I mean, let's take the plastic off. I mean, it really feels cool. <laughs> the articulation and everything is, I mean, it, it's just kind of like slippery. I don't know what they made this out of, but it feels like a really light figure. But I mean, whoops. Oh, <laughs> so I guess the head is on this little, I haven't seen that neck peg before, but uh, the head just kind of slid off there, but um, yeah, I mean, it moves around on that well, and it comes off uh, pretty easily, but I mean, once you stick it in, it's fine, but yeah, I mean, just handling this guy, like, it's, it's slipping everywhere, it's making my hands kind of sweaty, so, you know, before you uh, play with this guy, definitely make sure you eat a lot of Cheetos, 
get all those crumbs and stuff on your fingers and then play with this guy. It definitely helps with the experience. I recommend like Flaming Hot Cheetos, of course, but <laughs> now all things aside, I mean, this figure feels amazing. But yeah, I mean, the only issue was is just, you know, kind of leaving those fingerprints everywhere, messing with it. Um, so let's kind of get into the articulation. We'll get his tail on. So he stands pretty good. We'll just stand him up there for now. But yeah, let's get his tail and put that on him. So it just goes in there in the back and it looks like it has some articulation and stuff as well. Let's just make sure we don't mess anything up. Okay, so he has a little divot on the bottom. So I was, I was putting it in upside down at first. Yeah, so he clicked in there and now you can kind of move this guy all around. So um, pretty cool articulation. I mean, so at the base of his tail, it can go up and down that way. And then pretty much all throughout, you know, you can make it go up and down, side to side, left and right, what have you. So, um, I mean, figures with tails are sometimes a little bit harder to do. We'll just kind of keep it down out of the way for now. And you can use the tails too as just like a anchor for the figure you know, to stand it up and stuff, but it just makes poses and everything a bit harder, but you know, we always love doing poses as well. So make sure you stay till the end for that. We'll do some poses at the end, but um, getting back into the articulation, I mean, the arms and everything uh, feel really good. Yeah, so the legs and everything, you know, articulate well, they can go out, you know, if you want him to do a split, um, he can go about that far splits wise, but yeah, I mean, the joints and everything feel really good. And then he has a bunch of hands, which we didn't really look at earlier, but he has some open blast hands. He has um, kind of like grabby blast hands too. He has just kind of like a closed palm hand. Um, and then he has kind of like the iconic like Frieza beam <laughs> finger pose, but Cooler does that beam as well. And then he has like a metal hand and shoulder, like from the, you know, metal cooler movie. Uh, probably not gonna put that on just because I really don't like the look of it anyways. And sometimes when you take the arms off, it's hard to get them back on the joint. So I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. I mean, I really have no, no reason to do that. Um, metal arm, I mean, I think he looks good just as is. And it was pretty funny. I saw like a uh, post of someone. They got like a ton of these for that, you know, famous metal cooler army. But yeah, so then looking at the ab crunch, he can go down pretty far. Um, can't go back much. I mean, that's about as far as he'll go back. And then the head, you know, his head can go all the way down and then that far back. So all in all, I mean, it feels like a really great figure, you know, articulation wise and everything. It looks amazing. I mean, I just can't get over the feel of it too. I mean, it, it feels great. So like I said, it's just kind of like a light figure. I don't really know what they made it out of, but it feels like it's kind of hollow on the inside. Like there's really not much going into it. So Pretty cool all around. I mean, that definitely helps with, you know, standing it up and the weight and everything. Like even with his tail, if you just kind of lean it forward his feet a bit, you know, you can stand it up without the tail, even on the ground. Like you can kind of see there, he's just leaning forward a bit, but you couldn't tell <laughs> anyways. But yeah, so I mean, for overall rating for this figure, um, so, it was a premium Bandai exclusive, so you could only get it on their website. The reason I like using Mecha Japan is because even if you can't get the premium Bandai stuff shipped over to you, they release all of those on their website. So, you know, definitely check out their website. And again, you can use code MONEY5 on checkout um, just to get that $5 off. So overall rating, and then we'll kind of get into how to enter the giveaway for that Vegeta figure coming out in September, or at the end of September, rather. But <laughs> um, overall rating for this guy, I'm gonna have to give this like a nine, solid nine. 
Right now, I mean, you can get it from Metro Japan for about 120 USD. But with that $5 off, you know, it'd be like 115. And since they sold this, I believe, off Premium Bandai for like 80 bucks, after shipping and tax off there, I mean, you're really not too far off from that 120 range. So, yeah. And now I'll tell you guys how to enter the giveaway here. All right, everyone. So the giveaway will be for Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue Unwavering Saiyan Pride. This is the Super Saiyan body with the, um, you know, that 35th anniversary edition Super Saiyan God head. But Metro Japan was kind enough to do a giveaway for everyone. And since they do ship internationally as well, anyone is welcome to enter. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you follow them on either their TikTok or their X, formerly known as Twitter. Again, those will be in the description. And then once you follow one of those pages, comment on this video, done, D-O-N-E. <laughs> so I'll have, you know, everything, um, listed in the description as well how to enter the giveaway there so uh, definitely you know take advantage of that and then everyone will be able to enter that giveaway through august 28th when i post my video that day um, i'll post the video on august 28th at 3 p.m central time uh, so the giveaway will be open till about you know let, let's just say 1 p.m central on august 28th so again, the giveaway will be open through August 28th at 1 p.m. Central Time. But yeah, so pretty easy to enter. You know, it's free for everyone to enter. And again, they can ship internationally. So uh, I'll announce the winner on that video Wednesday, August 28th. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And once the winner is announced, you know, I'll get with you uh, via the comments and everything. I'll make sure to pin you on the video and we can, you know, exchange <laughs> information and everything, but it is a pre-order, so you won't formally get the figure until it is released. Um, it shows that it's going to be released on September the 30th, but since it is coming from Mecha Japan and Japan as well, um, being a general release, Japan usually gets figures one to two months ahead of the USA here. Um, so, you know, you'll, you'll definitely be getting that figure earlier than a lot of the U.S. counterparts. So definitely cool there. You know, thank you again, Mecha Japan, for sponsoring today's video and the giveaway. Um, the, the giveaway isn't sponsored by YouTube or any affiliation with them. It's uh, strictly sponsored by Mecha Japan. Uh, for the giveaway, you know, I'm just going to pull uh, from all the comments that commented done. So if you don't comment done, you, you won't be entered in the giveaway, but I'm just going to, you know, make like a wheel of all the comments, <laughs> put them in that for a random generator. So it will be, you know, free to enter and fair randomized uh, one entry per, you know, account, I guess that, you know, follows one of those pages and comments done. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time, but let's get into the poses here of that metal cooler figure. Peace.